Good morning there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today. Hey, I want to show you this little building that we uh, worked on last week, and we uh, done a little quick uh, tune-up on it, a little fixer-upper. What we did is we built some brand new doors. We recased our door frame, built us some new doors and put on here, painted the whole building and uh, put up new hardware and trimmed out our little door. I think it made our little building look a, a lot better. Uh, let's take you through this process real fast. Hey friends, first of all, let's show you the doors that actually come off of this thing. Uh, they're not looking too good here. A lot of water damage near the bottom. Actually, this one right here, you can you can definitely see the damage at the bottom of this door is about rotted away. Uh, so we took these doors off. It wasn't very hard to do because uh, they were just um, nailed. The uh, door was actually attached to a board that was nailed straight over top of the lap siding, okay? And it was nailed in with maybe some 16 penny nails, a couple 16s, and uh, that was about it. And right into siding, they were very flimsy. And I just actually grabbed a hold of them and jerked them off of there when we got ready to demo this project. Let me show you what we did to fix this thing up. Friends, as I was saying before, our uh, board that went all the way around our opening, our piece of trim that our doors are actually attached to, was a piece of flimsy particle board type stuff. And it was actually nailed straight on top of the lap siding, okay? So what we did, first of all, is we actually chalked this a line. We cut our siding back two inches off of our framework, okay? To where when we installed our new two before all the way around here, we were actually able to screw it with three inch screws straight into our framework. And then of course we went back down all the way around the opening and caulked it really good, okay? Friends, after we had our new casing actually screwed into place all the way around, it was time to start building the doors. Now, the way I did this is I took a piece of OSB and actually laid it up and covered the whole opening. I got inside the building, took a pencil, scribed all the way around, and marked, made a mark, marked the opening of the building. And then from that point, we took the piece of OSB, and of course we took the two befores, we laid them all out, we screwed them from the back side into this and built these doors. And I actually built them all as one door and then actually made a cut from here down to about right here and from the bottom up about a foot. And I actually built these doors, painted them, had them ready to go over at the shop, brought them over here, hung them up, by the hinges all as one door and then took my sawzall and just stuck it in between the crack and continued the cut all the way down all the way down and after a little bit of trimming we had these doors fitting really nicely so we have done a nice little restoration to this old building we went ahead and put a fresh coat of paint over the whole building and then come back and trim this door out with some burgundy paint and it really has set this little building off really good. So it should be good for another 10, 15 years or more. And uh, should provide good service to my customer. Thanks for watching the video today, folks. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.